Hey, welcome back lads. So we are now just a week away from the next big update for Modern Warfare 2, which would be the Season 2 Reloaded update. So I want to look at all the new content that, that we know about so far, and don't you find that this update has come around kind of fast? Well, it's because Season 2 is much, much shorter than Season 1 was, so in comparison, the time is going by a lot faster. So first and foremost, let's talk about the new multiplayer map, which is actually going to be our very first brand new DLC map in the entire game, and of course we have have seen the image before, we've all seen it before, but we need to go deeper into it because apart from the image, we have no other information about said map, not officially anyways, because the map was part of a leaked map list which revealed it's based on a town in Switzerland called Davos, but that's about all we have. Right, so if you inspect the image closer, you begin to notice some of the areas and the layout of the map, like different lines of sight, different pathways, but this area is most likely the center of the map where most of the action will take place. We know of course, a lot of COD maps are designed like that, right, where the center of the map opens up into a courtyard like this, but even then looking at it, it is a bit unique. I don't really know what other map to compare this to. You know, like, you kind of see how the image itself is taken from some kind of platform, some kind of elevated position. You see there's a little pathway in the center, there's the swimming pool and some other little huts to be used as cover. There's even, you can see how it will kind of connect to one of the, the kind of connector lanes that will connect it to the side lane of the map. But yeah, it's. Uh, I just hope, whatever it is, that the map is good. You know, that's that's all we can ask for, really. Now, some other general things about the update is it should be dropping next Wednesday, which is the 15th of March, and there will be the second Storyline Raid event, which, once again, we have no other further details about, but I expect it's going to work similar to the first raid, where it's co-op only, and has some kind of ultra reward, like an operator that you only unlock by completing the raid. Not going to lie, I found it kind of underwhelming and a bit annoying that it was co-op only, and yeah, it's going to continue on the storyline again. There is also the new DLC weapon, the Tempest Torrent Marksman Rifle, which should be unlocked via a simple challenge, and it looks like it's kind of part of the same weapon family as the Season 2 Assault Rifle, the, uh, the Hemlock, right? It looks kind of similar. So there is that. I hope it's not locked behind like another DMZ challenge or something. We are also going to have a couple of new party modes in multiplayer, which normally I'm not really bothered about, but Drop Zone there has me interested because it's a mode I've always enjoyed, you know, it's basically hard point, but when you're on the hard point, a ton of care packages are dropped on the point, so it's always a mad killstreak fest, and that can be fun sometimes, or aids, but uh, yeah, you also see there's a couple of new in-season things for Warzone, nothing too crazy, a new contract, redeploy balloons, uh, yeah, not really bothered about that to be honest. But that's about everything that we know so far, so there could always be a surprise in there, but who knows, and I'm also not sure if that's going to be revealed tomorrow, or n maybe early next week, but stay tuned to find out more about it. Um, yeah, I guess we're just going to leave it off there, keep it short and sweet, you know, because that's all we know about Season 2 Reloaded, but it's not, it's not too bad. So stay spicy, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.